Hey beer tubers, Ryan here, back to another episode of San Diego Beer Blog. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at a beer that Stephen from Texas sent me in a beer trade a while back. It's from Ranger Creek out of San Antonio, Texas. And this is their Mesquite Smoked Porter. They're calling it a robust porter smoked with Texas Mesquite. Sounds awesome. Mesquite's a type of wood that you usually find southwest U.S. You know, typically you see smoked beers with peated uh, malt or the, the, uh, the Roush malt, but this is a 6.4%, 20 IBU, 45 SRM porter. Let's get it open. Um, it's bottle condition, it even has a bottling date of June 1st, 2011, this is batch five. And it looks like, might be trying to come out of the bottle here. Now 6.4% is not like the highest ABV that's good for aging, but if it's a, but if it is a smoked beer, it, you know, it should hold up well. That smoke's a great preservative in beer. And if you don't believe me, try the Alaska Smoke Porter. That's a low ABV smoke porter that people age. So I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, I've never had a mesquite smoked beer. So a lot of carbonation coming up. Definitely a little too much for the style. It's a really, really, really dark brown. I see some uh, lighter brown that's on the bottom, but can't see through it at all. Got a big two finger, uh, light brown, kind of dark khaki kind of colored in the light brown colored head. A lot of, a lot of small bubbles up top and some medium ones kind of around, around the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, definitely pick up that mesquite smoke. Mmm, that's good. If you've had bar, a lot of American style barbecue uses mesquite wood to smoke the the different meats, so you pick that up, you've that kind of barbecue, you, you definitely get it, a lot of it in the nose of this beer. Underneath that I get a lot of fruitiness, I'm getting some kind of lighter, like berry notes, a little bit of a, like a darker fruit in there. Yeah, it almost has like a peppery note to the smoke, almost like if they put chipotles in it, which I wonder if... I don't think they did, but I'm almost getting a little bit of like a pepper um, note to it. So I don't think they're using it though, but you tend to get that. I mean, it has a touch of that campfire kind of smell to it. Um, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the foam is just completely rising up right now. So I'm going to take a break, take care of that. So despite the age, looks like the head's sticking around. Let's give this thing a taste. Cheers. That's nice. Um, the carbonation is actually not as stinging as I thought it might be. There's certainly a creaminess in this beer and I think it would help with even a lower carbonation so I might try to swirl some of that out. I mean that thing is ready to come out of the ball. I put a stopper on there. Hopefully that thing won't shoot up but um, definitely a lively carbonation. The smoke's not too overpowering right now. It's kind of curious to see how smoke beers age. Sometimes it kind of can be a rise and fall of the smoke as the uh, the malt characters is kind of come into play and they fade and change. So up front you hit with that carbonation. It, it, like I said, it's a little too high for the style, but it's not too stinging, so it's not too bad. It just takes a while for your flavors to kind of hit your tongue. Once they do, you get some nice sweetness to it. Some of those berry notes in, uh, coming off and the aroma definitely show up. Don't know if they're using like an Irish ale or a British ale yeast for it, but kind of that kind of yeast um, kind of fruitiness comes out first. Maybe some dark, darker kind of fruits coming from some, some of the malt in there as well. Hard to tell. Um, not overly roasty on this. It, there's certainly a little bit of coffee, but I think there's more of a chocolate malt characteristic to it. And in that sense, it kind of, kind of reminds me a little bit of Stone Smoke Porter in that sense. It's got a little more chocolate than roast character. The, uh, the smoke tends to show up uh, kind of like midway through, like subtly, and then as it finishes and the malt kind of fades away, you get some lingering notes of that. It's got that sort of campfire, quasi kind of meaty character to it, but then it has that pepper note I was getting on the aroma. There's like a pepperiness to it, so 
it's this unique type of a smoke character on this beer. So it makes a really uh, unique type of beer, especially for a smoke beer. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a plum character to it with the flavors. Kind of borderline, it, almost like a uh, sort of caramel cola kind of flavor in there as well. And now that the head's died down, the carbonation's coming out. It's definitely a smoother type of drinking beer. So I, I'm really enjoying this one. I, I like this. I like, I like, generally like smoked beers. The smoke, I think, is not too overpowering. It's not like a German uh, Rock beer where it's really, really intensely smoky. This one's probably about on par with the last in smoke porter would be with like a year on it, but maybe a touch less. I don't know. I I like this one. I, it's it's same kind of. I put this up there with like stone smoke porter. It's kind of the same same kind of range. It's slightly bigger beer, but uh, some similar flavors in there. This one's just more unique with that uh, mesquite character to it, which I, I really enjoy. So I wish I know there's one other brewery out in Arizona. I think uses mesquite. To smoke some of their malt, but uh, this one I'm gonna go B plus. Uh, really enjoyed it. Just you know, wish it was a little lower carbonation. Glad it is by all condition. Uh, thanks to Steve in Texas for sending this one out to me. It's definitely right up my alley. Uh, I recommend checking it out if you can get Ranger Creek down in San Antonio. So until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.